31 teams in 31 days. In Tim Bowen's first year at the helm of the Brooks High School Lions, Brooks failed to make the playoffs despite finishing the regular season 6-4. and four. And now getting back to the postseason is the number one goal for the Lions. We know what that feels like to be sitting at home while other people are still playing. And uh, I want that we, we talked about it, I think it was Monday, maybe Tuesday, that we, we talked about that uh, specifically of, uh, of what that record was and where we were. And uh, we want to make sure that, you know, we're continuing to have an opportunity to, to go. And, and what are we willing to do the things to get there? So. And Brooks thinks that they can return to the postseason if they follow two simple rules. All right, so we want to start fast, finish strong, and uh, when we that's that's out the gate, and and so we we have a we have a vision and a direction we're trying to take these young men, and we want to be disciplined, successful champions, and so everything we do goes in the direction of discipline, uh, and and making them champions in life as well, and, and and teaching them what success looks like. It's no secret that Killen is one of the tightest communities in the state. And to represent Brooks High School each Friday night is something that the Lions cherish. Uh, it's definitely a good feeling knowing that, like, what we represent, like when we play, because the entire, like you said, the entire community shows up, and it's a good feeling knowing that you're backed by your whole community. We'll see if the Lions can return to postseason play in year two under head coach Tim Bowens Thursday, August 29th, against Colbert County.